I'm late. <laughs> I guess maybe one or two of you figured that out already. But, uh, whew. Couldn't prove this was a Saturday by me. This is a straight up work day, brethren and sistren. But uh, I hope you're having some fun on this Saturday. We're going to have some fun now for a few minutes. And then it is back to work. I've got some uh, hats I've got to box up and send out. And I've got um, um, some product and some things that I've got to get taken care of. And then I am headed to East Tennessee for the Old Time Preachers Quartet to sing tomorrow and uh, Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. And we'll tell you more about all that here in a minute. I'm trying to get my uh, iPad to show up here. Here we are. There we go. All right. So I mentioned that um, I'm going to send out some hats. Speaking of hats, there you go. Got a few left in that box. Better get yours. Better get it. There you go. There's Brother Mike Holcomb. Green around the gills. Brother Les, sunshiny. Brother Adam, he doesn't know what he what he is, but he's smiling good. I think he's just rearing back. He's singing. Here's what's going on with Brother Adam. He's singing a high note and holding it a long time, and it's turning him red. And there's Tim. There's COVID Tim. But I have good news on COVID Tim. He has had two tests in a row negative. He's done his 14 days. He's fit as a fiddle. And uh, he will not be with us tomorrow because we said, stay away from us still. But <laughs> he's used to that from us, though. He was going to come anyway. But I said, no, I mean this time, really, stay away from us. But uh, he's, he'll be back with us on the next go around. So uh, thank the Lord after about almost three months, we're going to go sing to a, to a few folks tomorrow. So pray for us. Um, We've got uh, the following Sunday. Just listen to uh, I Sang Myself Happy on YouTube. Awesome, Les Butler. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Brother John. Brother Preaching Machine, John Preaching Machine Hamlin. And uh, if you like it, then I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, but uh, the last Sunday of May now, I'll mark this down if you're in the Murfreesboro area, Old Time Preachers Quartet will be at Middle Tennessee Baptist Church Sunday morning and at Fair Havens Baptist Church uh, Sunday afternoon for uh, good old-fashioned singing. So uh, both of those are in Murfreesboro. And tomorrow, tomorrow morning now, it's going to be in, uh, where's it going to be? New Tazewell, Midway Baptist Church. Had to think for a minute. Midway Baptist Church, New Tazewell, Tennessee, tomorrow morning, and then Knoxville, Tennessee, at Valley View Baptist Church. And uh, talk to... Uh, Paul Williams today, he might be able to be with us tomorrow afternoon in Knoxville. So praying that that works out because, I mean, it's Paul Williams. Enough said. IBMA Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame member Paul Williams, who is a, center, a tenor singing machine. He was a center until 1963, and we talked to him on Facebook last night about that, and uh, he gave us the rundown of what happened in 63. He ran headfirst into Jesus. And that changed things for my buddy, Paul Williams. <laughs> so, hallelujah. Yes, John, we're glad to be back at it, too. I mean, we're back at it for a day. 80% <laughs> uh, uh, of our dates have canceled for this year for the rest of the year. So, pray for us. God's in control. And, uh, man, he's done a good job taking care of us these last three months. So, uh, if you think that we're going to be nervous about the rest of the year, the way he's taking care of us these last three months, you're crazy. We're just going to trust him. It's all we can do. Hey, Les, good to see you again. Doing a great job. Thank you, Carol Garrett Skeens. Hey, Jeremiah Hart, got lots of folks joining us here on this uh, early Saturday afternoon. Um, okay, let's see. I thought I saw my buddy Steve Chandler, too. Steve, if you're still there, my engineering buddy. Engineered all those big, happy Goodman records, engineering just like a, a machine yet today. Hey, Adam Crabb. Hey, Randy Griffiths. Good to see you, everybody. We are going to, uh, here in a minute, I still got a couple more commercial pitches, but we're going to go back to uh, this May 
uh, not, let's see, when is this? 2009. May 2009, Singing News, which is a 40-year anniversary. And we're going to do something kind of different. I've got the chart here from back then, and so we'll tell you about the songs that's on the chart. But the thing that's different that I'm going to do today with this chart is I'm going to play three songs that were on this chart from groups that no longer travel. Kind of a different, unique spin. I think you're going to like it. So we'll go back to that in a minute. But okay, uh, uh, let me finish my commercials here. I'm so easy to get sidetracked. If we can cut loose in December, mark it down, 789, December 789. Christmas camp meeting in the Smokies, lots of preaching, lots of singing. It's going to be good. Come on, right there's all the folks. Check it out. Let me get, I'm hiding somebody. I'm hiding Chelsea. Don't want to hide Chelsea. There you go. Mark it down. We have a Hope Sing concert tonight. Crab Family, there you go. Mark it down. Hope Sing. That's, um, where did they go for that, Adam? Where do they go? Like hopesing.com or something like that. It's uh, you can buy a uh, uh, a ticket for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Put down where that is there, Adam. And folks want to come and see it. They'll come and see you. There's Tommy Swindle. Hey, Tommy. Great singer. Great songwriter. Good night of living. Jim McComas, preacher, singer. And we got we got, look at there all kinds of folks today. All right. So, all right. What else do we have? Get a writing utensil. Godsey Media Management. Okay, yeah. So check out Godsey Media Management if you want to see the um, the Crab Family Hope Sing tonight online. Hello, Vonda. All right. So get a piece of paper and a writing utensil. I need you to do something for me. I'm going to do this right now. I need you to do this. It'll take one minute out of your day. It doesn't cost you a penny. I just need you to do this and do it right now. Um, <clears throat> I have, uh, you know, not only do I have a bluegrass gospel syndicated radio show on in over a hundred markets throughout the country, but I'm also on every day doing Southern gospel shows in like almost 40 markets all across the country. And, uh, I do, um, uh, do several things during these shows, Monday through Friday. And by the way, if you want to know where they are, congrats to OTPC. Q. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Vonda. I <laughs> love your song. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. I, what everybody's talking about here is uh, on that song. Uh, yesterday, all the charts came out, and the first month out, it was 26 in the singing news. The first month out. The first month out. Number 26, we're blessed to have 26 if it takes a year to get there. It's not a given to be, you know, in the top 40 in any chart. And so to be 26 in the first month means that uh, this song is resonating with folks. I just sang myself happy. And so evidently people are liking to sing themselves happy during these dark days. And that's why we sent it out. So you could be reminded as a child of God, you don't have to sing that hee-haw song, gloom, despair, and agony on me, deep, dark depression, excessive misery. Woo! If it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. No, Christians don't sing that song. They sing songs like I sang myself happy, like Paul and Silas did in a jail cell, reared back, prayed, sing, preached, testified, gave an altar call, people got saved. That's what you do as a child of God. I done hauled off into the preaching right now. Adam, I heard you sing in harmony on gloom, despair. I heard you singing it on your phone. Am I right? Okay, I'm chasing rabbits all over the place. Go back to your writing utensil. Now, here you go. Y'all stop making me chase rabbits because I chase rabbits. It's pitiful. Okay, Vonda says, I watched a lot of Hee Haw. I still watch some Hee Haw. Sorry. It's on at midnight on RFD on Saturday nights. <laughs> Midnight Central Time. See, Adam, I knew you were singing with me. I knew it, Adam Crabb. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to give you a toll-free phone number. Now, write this down. Just promise me you're going to write it down. Throw some hearts up if you're going to write this toll-free number down. This is going to take you one minute. It isn't going to cost you a penny. Throw some hearts up. I'm not going to give this number out or continue with the show until I see some hearts from people saying, I'm going to jot this number down right now. There we go. Okay, so here we go. So thank you. So it's 
800-360-5051. Okay? Now, here's what I want you to do. Hey, Aunt Sue, I'm on. Thank you for being on, Aunt Sue. Okay, so on my syndicated radio show during the week, uh, starting um, either next next week or the following week, all the way up to NQC and the Singing News Fan Awards. Every week, I want to feature a different category in the top five of the Singing News Fan Awards. And this next, the first category is going to be uh, the, um, not featured artist, favorite artist. Favorite artist. The rabbit season's open. <laughs> Brother John, I can, I can get after him with the best. I ought, to, I ought to be on ESPN with a rabbit chasing show on the sports channel there. Okay, so the favorite artist this year, the top five are the Booth Brothers. Write this down. Booth Brothers, Collingsworth Family, Greater Vision, Kingdom Heirs, Triumphant Quartet. Again, Booth Brothers, Collingsworth Family, Greater Vision, Kingdom Heirs, Triumphant Quartet. I want you to do two things for me. I want you to call that toll-free number and tell me which one of those five you think will win. That's the first thing. And then before you hang up, I want you to include an artist that's your favorite that didn't make the top five and say that they should have been in the top five. So the phone number again, 800-360-5051. 800-360-5051. Call that toll-free number, Brother John. You typed it. I appreciate that, but I need you to call that toll-free number and say Greater Vision. And so whoever the, your favorite is of that five, call that toll-free number right now, okay? All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, yeah, we don't need to do that. Let's see, we did that, we did that. Okay, um, did that, did the hat, Christmas, time to go. Here we go. Let's get, get on with it. So uh, we are in the May 2009. I got to turn everything on. I have been so late today. was sitting in my chair a while ago doing some things, and um, I made a promise to myself that I'm going to work next week as close to 24-7 every day as I can. Does your boat ever take on water? My boat's taking on water. i got to do some bailing. <laughs> I cannot keep up. As I've said many times over these last couple months, I, it's it's the strangest thing. I can't explain it. I've been busier, making less or nothing, <laughs> and I cannot keep up. And I don't, God, I think he's doing something, and I hadn't figured it out yet. That ever happened to you? Just God put some things on you and on your mind and on your heart and 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 you can't keep up, and you're not sure where this is going, just pray for me. But Lord willing, I'm going to go as close to 24-7 every day next week as my body and mind will humanly stand to try to just wrestle some of these animals to the ground. Now, enough of that. God's good. May 2009, 40th anniversary edition of the Singing News Magazine. And so um, we're going to look at the chart and I'm not, as I have done in the past, I'm not going to play the top songs of the chart. I'm going to go, could you please repeat that number? 800-360-5051. All right. I'm going to play three songs from three groups that no longer travel that had songs on the chart. That's kind of a, that's a, a unique spin, isn't it? So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with... A group called, they were from, if I re recall correctly, I did a whole three seconds worth of research uh, uh, a few minutes ago because, as I said several times, very late today. Um, and I can't see where they're still, that they're singing at all anymore. And that's what I thought. But I believe they were from uh, Missouri. And their name, the Southern Brothers. Let me do that. The light's shining. The Southern Brothers. And they had a song in May of uh, 2009. Let me find it here. That was... 
Oh, I messed up. I should have done cross for crowns first. That's all right. I'll do this one. It was number 69. Number 69. And it's called God Knows. And I'm going to play it for you right now. This is May of 2009. Coming in at number 69. The Southern Brothers with God Knows. As soon as I get this fixed up right. Here we go. What a day. This is Facebook Live with Les, Southern Gospel Music, mem memorabilia, memories, and ministry. And we are going to do the ministry part of that, tying it into that song here in just a little bit. But today, we're back in the May 2009 issue of Singing News, their 40th anniversary edition. We've been in it now for about a week or so, just pulling out, extracting different things. 
and we're looking at their chart that year, and instead of playing the top hits, as I've done in, in previous times, I'm, I found three groups that no longer travel that had hits, uh, top 80 songs back in the um, uh, 2009 uh, May chart. So uh, the next one is going to be a group called Cross for Crowns. They were from East Tennessee, and I don't believe they're still touring today. If I'm wrong on any of these things, please let me know, and I will retract that, and we'll enjoy their music anyway. But uh, Cross for Crowns had a song that was number 71, 71 back then, and it was uh, written by Mark Mathis, a great songwriter, by the way. And the name of the song was called Celebrating Resurrection Morning. So let me find that one right here, and we will listen to that one, going back to the May 2009 chart. Cross for Crowns. Ooh, a mandolin. I already like it. And a banjo. I really like it. Have you ever wondered what the Lord would do if he was living next door to you? And he would know you as your closest friend. Maybe he would join you on your morning walk. Or just get together for a little talk. Maybe one afternoon. Tim, you can find information at oldtimepreachersquartet.com. Crowns, number 71, back in May of 2009. Song called Celebrate. Whoop, I played the wrong song. Okay, now listen here. Your old buddy Les makes mistakes left and right. Like David Stewart just told me I was wrong, like I'm wrong on every show on stuff. But on this one, it said that Celebrating Resurrection Morning was song number nine. And, it's, and it wasn't. So now I've got to play... The Lord wanted me to play that song for someone. Take a little look in the blessed old book. Now I'm going to play the right song. It was misnumbered. So, <coughs> there you go. You're getting a little extra right here. So song number 10 is the song that was uh, number 71 back in May of 2009, Celebrating Resurrection Morning. And here it is. I'm glad I played it too, Kim. What's up, Isaac? I gotta go get a drink. Yeah. 
Crowns. We are celebrating Resurrection Morning. Now, that was a song that was number 71 back in May of 2009. We are looking at that chart. We're looking at that particular magazine, the sing that particular issue, Singing News, May of 2009. And uh, unlike at Normal, where I would play the top songs, I found three groups that no longer travel today, to the best of my knowledge. I've done, I did about 17 seconds worth of research. Couldn't find anything on anybody. And so I'm playing uh, their songs, kind of a different angle. And uh, this next one is from a group that just retired, uh, Rod Tremme from uh, Texas. His group, Paul's Journey, uh, just hung it up in 2000, uh, what is this? Is this 2020? Uh, 2019, I believe. Maybe they're still traveling, and I'm sure somebody will correct me on that as well. And that's great, because we want to be right. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe they hung it up. And uh, so Paul's Journey had a song that was number 43 in uh, May of 2009. And it says it's the first song on the CD. Let's just see if it is. Because <laughs> it wasn't on the last one. Called Lead Me to the Rock. Paul's Journey. Harmonica. Now, that was in the May 2009 Singing News chart, and it came in at number 43. I don't recall hearing that one. It's the first time I've heard it, to the best of my uh, knowledge right there. But um, let's see. We got people telling me stuff. 
Petty Graham, according to Facebook, Cross for Crowns did a reunion tour in 18, and Tim Owens was a part of that. That is correct. He was one of the tenors for Cross for Crowns. Tim Owens now sings tenor with the Old Time Preachers Quartet. That is absolutely correct. Petty. John Roberts, great job on the vocal demo and track. Thank you, John. I uh, did a, um, uh, as he said, a vocal demo and track and, and uh, did the uh, music and singing and all that. And uh, happy customer. So that's a wonderful thing. Tony Clower from East Tennessee and Doris and Don and Terry and John and uh, who else we have and Pam and uh, David Stewart. My email uh, address is les, L-E-S, at butlermusicgroup.com. If you're sending me that Kingsman information, you don't have to do that. I trust you. That's okay. Uh, if you got something else, that's fine. Email me about anything. Uh, Jim Foster, loving that tux, man. That's a sharp-looking tux. Good stuff. Perry, Kim, Elaine, Miss Elaine from Carthage, Tennessee of the Wilburns. We were, uh, we featured her a couple weeks ago on Facebook Live with Les. Harlan Burton, long time no see, brother. Harlan's a fine singer. He really is. He did, as I recall, boy, Harlan, how, how long ago was this? Um, 15, 20 years ago, you did a, uh, a live recording at the Gibson Cafe, and I think I was a part of that in some way. I may have been the MC that night or something. I'm not sure. But um, Harlan's a fine singer. Dave Compton, fine DJ. Good to see you there, Dave. Jumping online, Craig Pippen and Andy and and uh, Will. There you go. So, uh, so we're back here this May uh, 2009 issue of Singing News, and I, this will be the last time that we're in this one. And so I'll have some other mem memorabilia as we continue on. But uh, I was taking a look on the page right after the chart. And I was pleasantly surprised to see an album that I produced, and I still produce uh, the recordings for. Sherry Taylor made uh, the new uh, Southern Gospel CD releases and got herself uh, three, uh, three stars, which was um, the highest ranking you could get. So way to go, Sherry Taylor. Where is it? Right there. Right there. Sherry Taylor. That was a great recording. If I did produce it, Sherry. <laughs> You did a great job singing some, some great songs, as always. She's just a wonderful, wonderful lady. So, and here's a, you know, we played those songs from the folks that, uh, off of the May 2009 chart that's no longer touring today. And I looked here at the top new releases for that same, uh, for that same issue. And the number one song on the top new releases of that month is from a group that no longer travels, the Christ family. And their song called Nothing But Good. So uh, you can glean some really great uh, music from song uh, from artists that no longer travel when you look at these charts and take a look at some of the songs um, uh, that they did. Good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that today. All right, so now it is time for uh, ministry. This is Facebook Live with Les Southern Gospel Music, Memorabilia, Memories, and on the count of three, one, two, three, ministry. That's right. So we're going to start Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 8. Now, we played a song by the Southern Brothers a while ago called God Knows. And I kind of did the ministry then. I kind of gave you a few minutes there. I'm on, but I'm going to cycle back here real quick, and then I got a, man, I got a pack for the quartet. I got hats and mail. Oh, I ain't going to get to bed at all tonight. Got to travel to East Tennessee tonight. But let me give you a couple scriptures here. Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 8. As we looked at that song, God knows. He does know, but you know what he wants us to do? He wants us to do some knocking and some seeking. Not, not that we can tell him what the problem is. He already knows. God knows it all. And by the way, he, he knows it not when it gets there to you. He knew it in advance. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that seeketh ask, asketh, for everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Now, let's go to uh, 1 Peter chapter 5. 1 Peter chapter 5. I want to go to verses 6 and 7 real quick here. He wants us to ask. He wants us to knock, not so that we can tell him what's going on. He knows, but he wants us to come and talk to the Father. Let's look at verses 6 and 7 from 1 Peter chapter 5. 
not only does he want you to knock and ask, but there's there's a there's a prerequisite to this. Now, in 1 Peter 5, he's talking to the elders, but this will do, I don't care, young, old, elder, male, female, black, white, red, yellow, blue, green, rich, poor, fat, skinny. This right here is for all of us. Where it says, now before we ask and knock and do all those things, it says, humble yourselves. Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. And then, I'm tying this into that song from the Southern Brothers. God knows. And then the next line of that chorus, God knows he cares. Look at here, what verse 7 says. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. God knows. He cares. He wants us to knock. He wants us to seek. He wants us to ask. But before we do that, let's humble ourselves before him. Don't go to the Lord with your problems and your cares and your concerns with the attitude of, Lord, I have preached, I have sung, I have testified, I have done this, I have done that for you, and here you are leaving me hanging. No, 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 don't do it. Humble yourselves. Then get to knocking. Then get to asking. And you know what? As it says there in verse 7, then go ahead and cast your care upon him because all oh, he careth for you. But let's go to him and approach him with the right mind, the right attitude, humbling ourselves before a mighty God. Amen. Well, there's a second dose of ministry for today. <laughs> I hit it up a lick early on, and then I'm ending it with that. Aren't you glad that he knows and that he cares and that we can cast our cares upon him? That's a blessing. Boy, wouldn't give anything for being a child of the king, would you? See, that, that knocking and seeking and asking and bringing our cares and troubles to him is a benefit we have as a child of God. Now, he hears the sinner's plea of repentance. He hears that. He desires to hear that. His ear is always pointed toward that. But the additional benefit that the child of God has that the, that the, the sinner doesn't is that beyond that, he's got an ear toward our cares and our concerns, our problems. Why? Because he careth for us. Amen. All right, well, I got to get to boxing hats and, and <laughs> getting clothes and putting product together and packing a car and PA stuff, and I'll be working. And I got to get to it because, let me remind you, if you're in East Tennessee tomorrow morning, um, head to Midway Baptist Church there in New Tazewell, Tennessee, tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock, Knoxville. Thank you, Brother John, for the targets there. <laughs> Uh, 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon in Knoxville at Valley View Baptist Church. And uh, we're going to do some old-fashioned quartet, straight-ahead Southern gospel singing. Going to give, bring the blood, the book, the blessed hope to you. Going to try our best to just give you Jesus. Bring somebody lost with you. Bring a friend that just doesn't know the Lord. Because we want to tell them about Jesus. And if Lord, well, the Lord will help us to get to East Tennessee tomorrow, that's exactly what we are going to do. Amen. So be with us if you can. And one more time, jot down this number, 800-360-5051. 800-360-5051. Call now. It's a recorder. So you leave the message, and I want you to answer this question for me when you call it. Favorite artist in the Singing News Fan Awards, the top five nominees just announced this week. Who's your favorite? Is it the Booth Brothers? Collingsworth Family, Greater Vision, Kingdom Heirs, or Triumphant Quartet. Call that number, give me your answer, and then do one more thing for me while you're on there. End with, if they didn't use one of your favorite ones, who's your favorite that, they, that you think they missed? 
and put that on there. Okay? All right, Lord willing, we'll be back Monday with something. It'll be Facebook Live with less Southern Gospel music, memorabilia, memories, and ministry. Lord willing, we'll see you then.